next session on access workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze the disk break rotor for its topology optimization we will try to analyze the disk break rotor and we will see if we can reduce some of the material such that the weight of the disk break rotor can be reduced so we will start with a structural analysis As you know, the material which is used for this brake rotor is stainless steel or grey cast iron. So I will select the materials. I will go back to project and update project. Next I will go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of the disc brake rotor. I will give you the link for the model. We have already created it before, so you can just go through the video, or else you can directly use the link for downloading and using it for this analysis. I will go to model and double click on it now. I'll first go to geometry and I'll change the material to grey cast iron. Next I'll go to meshing and change the sizing to fine and update. Next I'll go to static structural and I will insert fixed support on the surface. Apply. On this phase, I am going to insert pressure of say 0.5 megapascal and on this phase also I will insert pressure of 0.5 megapascal. I will go to solution now and I will insert deformation total. I will insert strain and I will also insert stress over the body. You can go to tools and select stress tool so that you can find out the safety factor of the body. Let's solve it. So you can see here this is the total deformation over the body that is 0.003 mm. You can animate and check the result. This is as far as grey cast iron is concerned as a material. The strain has highest value of 0 0.0022 over this body. The stress is 24 megapascal and the factor of safety that you see is 0. So I will just change this material to stainless steel and solve once again. Now you can see the deformation is 0.0017 mm maximum. The strain value is 0.0012. The stress is 23.7 megapascal. And the factor of safety has increased which is very important. So stainless steel would be a better material to use for the disc brake rotor is what we can understand from here. You can see the disc brake rotor is completely safe now. So this was the structural analysis. Now next I'll go for topology optimization module. I will drag and drop it over the static structural analysis. I will go to setup and double click on it. Now these things have already been solved for so I can just go to solution and solve once again. Be careful the material is stainless steel. Next, I'll go to topology optimization. When you go to analysis settings, you see the number of iterations by default is 500. The minimum normalized density will be 1 into 10 to minus 3 and the convergence accuracy is 0.1%. This is the optimization region. As you can see, there are certain regions which have been excluded on which you have applied your boundary condition. Next, I'll go to objective. So you can see here the objective has already been given. You're trying to go for 
minimization of material. Next, we will select response constraint. Here you can see that 50% mass will be retained by default. If you want, you can increase this to say 65%. Now, you want to find the topology density as well. So, I will solve it. This will take a little longer to solve because it goes into the iteration solving mode. So you can check on topology density, you can see that the removal rate is 0 to 0 0.4 which is marked in red which I can't see here. So the marginal removal is this color where it is 40 to 60 percent I can see and to keep material you can see it is in grayish color it is 60 to 100. So this much material will definitely be kept. Marginal material is where it has been removed partially and remove is a place where they have already removed the material for you. So this much portion of material can be removed to make this disc topologically optimized which means you can just reduce this material such that you can remove it. So you can see this has been done. Now if you want you can also change this to say 60% such that you will be left with even lesser material and just solve it once again. So now you can see by checking on topology density some more material has been removed. So that's how you would analyze a disc brake rotor for its topology optimization. After this, if you want, you can also edit the sketch and make it such that only this portion of the material is available where you want to apply the fixed and the pressures. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to go for topology optimization of a disc brake rotor. If you have any doubts, Please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.